Harvest is one of my favorite times of year. It's probably one of the biggest parties nature puts on. Prior to the spring, one of the big worries of 2014 was the drought. We were in big drought conditions. Everything was dry. But prior to bud break, we had six inches of rain, which was absolutely essential. Throughout the growing season also, we not only had an early bud break, but we had a very moderate growing season. We had very rarely any kind of heat spikes. What I mean by that is that temperatures that would get up to over 100 degrees and be prolonged for a couple days. We had none of that. That means very little sunburn. That means height and fruit intensity, but also we had a very early harvest, probably one of the most compact harvests we've ever had. We're finishing the harvest, really, in what many years would be the beginning of the harvest. I've never seen a harvest better than 2012, and I thought that was to be the best I'd ever seen. But 2013 came along, fabulous. And now 2014 is long as amazing, just amazing. Three great vintages together, and that could be termed in terms of uniformity of fruit, fruit intensity, balance of fruit, the, the acid, the, the, the aromas, the, uh, the intensity overall, the textures, they're all there in 2014 as well. Really an extraordinary vintage. You walk through the fermentation room and it's just pure bliss. The smells, but also the sounds. Not just the sounds of bubbling, fermenting wine, the sounds of the, of the great crew. They're whistling, they're chatting, laughing. You can't have any kind of more fun than what's going on right now.